What's up, everybody? I'm Getty. Welcome back to The Lone Dark. Now, in the last episode, we helped the Grey Mother finishing out her story arc, which involved us going to her daughter Lily's grave here at the church, St. Christopher's. We delivered her pearls. Now, in doing so, we have got to... Excuse me. We have to go to the climbing area outside of town, which is down here. We'll go the opposite direction of the tunnel, up to this area here, Paradise Lost climbing area. Uh, we ate some soup, and now we're ready to go. Uh, it's fairly, fairly daytime, fairly daytime. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go go ahead and push on to the climbing area now. We delivered her daughter's pearls to her gravesite, which was sad. And we have now learned that it seems that Grey Mother was actually leading us through Lily's story. At least leading us to help her finish out Lily's story. Uh, we, we learned that Lily actually died of a climbing accident. So that's sad. Now we've got her climbing gear, which was a rope, some socks, some climbing socks, and a map of where we're going to climb to at least. So we're fairly heavy, we're at 83 pounds, Ugh, which is bad, but it's okay. We'll, we'll be alright, I think. <laughs> so. We're gonna head off this way. Now, we still haven't opened the two uh, safe deposit boxes there at the credit union. We don't have the keys, and I don't think I'm gonna look for them. Got old frozen deer here, huh? Yep, frozen deer. I'm not gonna mess with it either. I don't wanna take the frozen deer meat and guts and the hide, because I don't want wolves to track me down. It's the last thing I need is my story to end with getting eaten by a wolf. By circumstances, I could have avoided. So, we're just gonna slide on this way. Speaking of wolves. Like a wolf right over there. Before I go... Is that house up there? I ain't noticed it before until now. Kinda wanna go up there and look in that house. We might as well. I mean... We want to get the most out of the game as we can. I don't know if I can actually make it up to that house. But we're going to look around a little bit in Milton here before we leave. Because i got a feeling that... Oh no. Run, 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 run. Oh no, I didn't see the wolf. I heard him. Run, 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 run. No, 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 no. I heard him. It's getting foggy. Man. It would get foggy. I really want to see what's in that house. I hadn't noticed it till now, and it would be kind of annoyed if I get there and I can't get inside. Is it kind of this here? No. Yes, no. It's not. We just kind of follow the demolished stuff and head this way. This house is kind of dilapidated. Okay, uh. Like kind of a train track. Or something. The house up here? It's just ease up here. Let's check this house out. Now we're, I want to at least explore as much of Milton as I can. Okay, this house has doors. And a mailbox. So let's see what's inside. Wolves. Emergency steroid injection. Let's hope not. Milton house. We got here, we got... Wool scarf. We already have one scarf. That stuff will come in handy. We got a book. Soda. 
Some tomato soup. We'll take the soup, but not the soda. Something I'm not exactly worried with is soda right now. The newspaper. A hoodie! Heck yeah! We found a hoodie. It goes in here, right? Uh, can we fix it? It needs cloth to fix it. Hmm. I wonder if it would be better than what we have. We don't have any spare cloth or anything to make cloth with, do we? This scarf would probably also be better than the hmm, two scarves or a hat. You know what? We'll just go ahead and we'll scrap this. This scarf. If the hoodie's better, I think it'll be better in the long run for heat and warmth. So, hoodie. Repair. Yes, it's the one kit. Gotta make sure we're still recording. I'm still having issues with my recording software messing up. It's really annoying. I hate recording something and realize it didn't record it. Alright, so... That hoodie is still really damaged. And I don't have any more cloth. We'll keep it with us. And if we find something... A red stain right there. Purple stain. If we find something that we can put it back together Excellent. with, then we'll use it. If not, at least we'll have cloth later. Kind of a shame if I walked all the way up here and that's all that was here was a hoodie. I mean, I'm not complaining. We can use the hoodie. Lantern fuel. I don't care about newspaper right now. You watch. I'm going to turn away all this newspaper and all this fire starting stuff. And later, I'm going to need it. When I get trapped out in the wilderness by myself. Uh, watch, I'm calling it now. Weather turning bad or predators nearby? Take shelter in a vehicle. See, I don't understand that either, because... Ooh. Excuse me. I had a burp. Excuse me. Uh, but whenever you're... See, whenever you're out in a vehicle, it's still cold. Like, I don't know what the point of hiding in a vehicle would even be. Now that it's foggy, I can't see. That's not good. Uh, map. Okay, woodlot, radio, shortwave. Uh, okay. That didn't really help us any. Let's, uh, that way leads. Hmm. Let's we'll follow the power line. Ouch. Oops. Uh, let's just. We're gonna keep looking around as we go. But you never know what we might run into. Here you wolf. What's out here? There's a wolf over there. Uh looks like just more logging area. Yeah. Don't I don't really think. We're gonna find too much more. I mean, now there's, of course, like I said, the two safety deposit boxes we haven't opened, but we're not gonna stress too much about it because I don't know. Like, this is the, the first chapter. And it seems we're going the right way, just in a roundabout way. But, like I said, this is the first chapter. I don't know what all is gonna happen at the end of this chapter, but. I don't know. I don't think there's anything. Look, I'm sorry I'm rambling, okay? I've got a lot of thoughts that I'm trying to piece together. That's the gas station. So this way. I wish it wasn't foggy. I'm sure there's a rule against mountain climbing in the fog. But I, I don't think there's going to be anything in those safety deposit boxes that's going to do anything more than just help us along. Like maybe more cash. Some more... Flare shells. I mean, we haven't used the flare once. I mean, there's not really anything I can do about that. I mean, it can scare predators, but I don't feel like chasing predators off. I'd rather run. Milton Park, huh? Park warning notice. Uh, due to the unfortunate accident, the Milton and Area Parks Board can no longer condone the use of the climbing area within the park boundaries. Additionally, Recent seismic activity has brought the safety of several some common routes and climbing sections into question. 
We are reviewing safety policies and will publish findings as soon as possible. Until then, please refrain from using designated climbing areas in the park. Signed, M. Antonides, Milton and Area Parks Board. Nice. Now, we learned that uh, Lilith, Lily, Grey Mother's daughter, died from a climbing accident. At least that's what she, she hinted at. Now, she didn't exactly tell us where or how long ago it was. There was a date on the tombstone, but I don't know what date it is right now. So, I don't know if that if she died in the past or if she died recently. I'm not sure. Or maybe her accident was caused because of the seismic activity. I'm not sure yet. But we got to use the climbing stuff. We're going towards the climbing area. We got here, we got a bit of an outpost. We got in here, we got a... The Collapse, part two. Alrighty. Uh, I'm not going to read that. Y'all can read it if you want to. I'm not too interested in the collapse. I already have a good general understanding of it. Until we find out what happened or what caused the storm, then I don't think we're going to learn any more. Because the storm seems to be causing all this problem. The power outage, we still don't know what caused it. And then on top, you know, everybody left. I wonder if this is any good to eat. I don't know. We'll take it with us, though. It'd be funny if we found one of the safety deposit keys here and we had to go back. That'd be about my luck. Newspaper, flare shell. We'll take the flare shell. And nothing there. Okay, now we got another soda. Fleece cowl. Yeah, I ain't gonna take it. What have we Ooh. here? Steroid chop and a bandage. Flare shells. Alright, nothing else, huh? Radio don't work. Alrighty. I don't really see nothing else here. Kind of a log cart. Desolation point. I'm guessing that would be like a lighthouse. See, now that's kind of weird. That's another question I have about this game is, you know, they talk about going towards the mainland. Now, as far as I know, Great Bear Region, we're on a mountain. Does that mean on the other side of the mountain is the, like, the ocean? The coast? I don't know that either. All I know is, we're looking for Astrid, and we are not getting any clues. Other than we have to go to Perseverance Mill. Picnic area. Is there anything up at the picnic area we can take with us? A couple of rocks, some benches. Nothing, really. I guess this is the climbing area. This little guy on a cliff. Ooh, buddy. It's awful foggy down there. Now that's a long way down. Oh boy. I have a bad feeling I'm never gonna see this place again. You and me both, buddy. Down we go, I guess. Too encumbered to climb. Uh that's not good. Is there anything heavy we can drop? Got our parka, we're gonna keep it. Uh, go ahead and drink some sodas. Drop some weight that way. We need food. We'll go ahead and eat up and see if we can't drop a couple of weights that way. I'm guessing the weight of the food has something to do with the amount of calories we're going to get from it. Because you can see, I think you can see under my camera there, the, the calories under my help, or under my camera deal. Right there. That tells me how many calories I'm going to get. Uh, get some more tomato soup. Food's pretty well off. We'll, we'll top off our water. We've got 10 pounds of water. So I'm going to drop all of that. Now we're well underweight. Look at all that water right there. Two, four, six water bottles. That's ridiculous. We can always boil more snow. Now I haven't had to make a fire in a while. Oh, I gotta climb down. My bad. Easy does it. A long way down. What's with the music? Do, do, do. 
Uh. Ooh, minor bruise. Minor, minor bruise my butt. What the hell? Language. I guess that rope was older than it looked. Uh, yeah, it's been stored in a box. Didn't check it. But I guess we ain't going back up. Uh, minor bruise, huh? It doesn't say we're hurt. Because we're well fed. Alright then, uh... Alrighty. Guess we'll continue along our way. Uh... Huh. Making sure we're still recording. What we got here? What does that sign say? It says, climbing area. This direction. Hey, there's a tent. Well, there's somebody at the tent. And a deer. Hope this guy's alive. Since there's a fire, I'm guessing he is. Hello. Oh, look. It's the guy from the gas station. Methuselah. Hello, Methuselah. So, we meet again. Apparently so. This what you do? Hang around campfires and share wisdom? These are confusing times. Let me see if I can help you make sense of them. Good idea. I'm an old man. I've seen many things. Some would say too many. I've seen this happen before. We've mean? sinned. Now we're paying the price. Hmm. Are you talking about religion? Not religion. Redemption. Is this about the lights in the sky? The lights in the sky are a reckoning. A reckoning. The wonder of humanity and all its creations laid bare. Hmm. Her warnings went unheeded. Well, whose warnings? Interesting. Mother Nature's. The signs were there for those willing to see them. This has all happened before. Soon we'll all be tested. Hmm. We'll have to choose how far we'll go to survive. Really? What do you mean, this has happened before? Big change is coming. Are you ready to face it? Yes. I'm no hero. I'm just looking for someone. Doing my best to survive in the meantime. Perhaps. Yet you take the role of the avenging angel. Choosing who will live and who will die. Avenging angel? You talking about the convict? Oops. How did he know? How do you know about that? Was it easier to do it? Thinking nobody would ever know. No, I'm still conflicted about the it. guy was a killer. If I let him go, he'd have killed again. Or worse. See there? I did the world a favor by putting him down. I don't know about that part. But... You might have. But die by the sword could be a tough philosophy for a civilization that's just been undone. True. Look, we've lived through lots of power outages, and the thing is, the lights always come back on. Hmm. You might dispel the darkness at times, but the light is never coming back. Good luck, old man. Enjoy your apocalypse. Huh. You keep your luck, stranger. I have a feeling you're going to need it. Hmm. All right, Mr. Methuselah. How does he know? Did he go to the cabin? Did he follow me? Or was he watching? I don't know. That's weird. This random guy. Got a hut here. Out here in the middle of nowhere. Strange. Strange. Uh, I don't know. Look, I'm still conflicted about killing the convict. I was conflicted when I did it. All right. I mean, I don't say it was a, the right thing to do, but I mean, he already said he couldn't feel anything below his waist, so he was like paralyzed. And he was gonna die. He didn't have any food or shelter past the little house. I mean, the wolves outside. I don't know. Okay, look, we got a got a cave here. Climbing area there. What's in the cave? 
I'm assuming climbing area takes us to the next section. And how we climb down, now we gotta climb up. That makes sense. Let's look in the cave first. Hmm, see something. But what do we have in here? Little backpack. Ain't no, no wolves or nothing in there, is there? I don't think so. Okay, so, got some. We got a cedar. Whoa, a cedar. We got a backpack. It's in the backpack. Is it food? Jerky, painkillers, matches. And a bedroll! Look there! A downfill bedroll. Heck yeah, now we're too heavy. And it's getting dark. Uh. Ouch. Need to get rid of something real quick, like. We could use, what, some food? I guess we'll eat the sardines. Hmm. And then. A bunch of sodas. We'll drink a soda to fill up our water. And then drop a couple sodas. That extra plus 11 is from us being well fed and rested. Now we're getting really low on energy and it's about to get dark. Question is, can we make that climb? Uh, hmm. I think the right thing to do would actually be to sleep. Sleep for the rest of the evening. We'll look around first. But I don't think we can actually make that climb with our energy as low as it is. Because if, if that, like everything else, is going to actually take energy to do, then we might not make it up. That's one of the last things. There's sprain risk. Why sprain risk? I'm too heavy again. Drop some more soda. Interesting. Yeah, I think I'm getting tireder and tireder, which is in turn making me less less stuff I can carry. Okay, I don't see anything else up here. Like, I don't look. I don't see another cave or anything, and it looks like just just no. Aside from some rabbits. Hello, rabbit. Yeah, yeah. We're gonna go ahead and uh, we'll sleep in the cave, and then we'll climb the rope. That's the smart thing to do. Got some sodas right here. Since, I mean, you know, since we have this nice sleeping bag. Uh, feels like 59 degrees. It's 31 degrees. But we've got, you know, all this nice, comfortable stuff on. Uh, how do you put down a bedroll? Bedroll? Right there. Should we make a fire? I think we should. I mean, I'm not cold. So we'll sleep. Let's see, temperature. Bed warmth. The bed actually gives you warmth. We'll go ahead and sleep. I don't know how many hours. See, I don't want to go to sleep without a fire and then freeze to death. So we'll go ahead and make a fire right here. A small one. Just enough to keep us warm for the hours we're going to sleep. Plus, we're out of practice. We haven't made a fire since, like, what, the second or third episode? We got to sleep inside Grey Mother's house. We were spoiled. She kept that fire going. Okay, we'll add fuel. Uh, we'll use reclaimed wood since we've got a lot of it. We'll get this fire cooking. So it's got eight hours on it. So we'll sleep for eight hours and see what the temperature's like. At least... Be smart about this. I don't want to die to something dumb. Alright. Eight hours later. Temperature's still fine. Fire's burning out, but the temperature's okay. Uh, what'd it say? What'd it say? Feels like a hundred and something in here. That's fine. So we'll go ahead and sleep. Let's see, eight, ten, eleven, twelve. Twelve hours. Be twelve total. How are we doing now? We're still fine. Still dark. Temperature's fine, though. I mean, this cave is really helping. We'll sleep some more. Uh, 13 hours. That's usually... 13 to 14 is usually when the daylight comes back. 
Though we are kind of going to sleep a little bit before it got dark, so we might have to sleep an extra hour or two. That's it. That works. We'll break down the fire. I want to pick up my bedroll. Don't want to leave that. Now we'll drink. So we'll just might as well. We could boil water, but we don't need the extra weight if we've got to climb out of here. Uh, soda. Once we got the sodas up there, we can grab before we go up. And more soda. There we go. Boom. Uh, now, weight-wise, we're doing fine. We've got the extra plus 11. We're only carrying 60 pounds. So we'll grab these sodas and take them with us. And that one will drink it to top us off. Yeah, buddy. And we'll leave them other ones. I don't think we're going to need any more to drink. So now, we're going to go climb us. A rope. I like how peaceful it is. Like, you ever been outside in the snow? Like, look, I know I'm from the south. I'm from Alabama. So, whenever it snows down here, it's a big occasion. Like, shut the roads down. Cancel school. Set at home. No work. But, I mean, it always surprises me whenever it snows like this. It's all still and quiet. Like, the snow does such a great job of muffling sound. It's amazing to me. Anyways, enough about rambling. Now we're going to climb this rope. At least we're going to attempt to. And rope. Yeah, we're going to use our energy. Look, see that bottom right-hand corner? That corner? It's a good thing. We was well prepared for this. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. You didn't hardly even take half our energy to get up here. Look at that, look at that. Professional. That's right, now where we going? Uh, I don't see nothing this way. What is this the way? Don't see nothing. Hmm. It's up this here little tree. See, the good thing, we did this after we rested, because... Remember, he gets all loopy and he starts leaning left and right. That's the last thing we need to fall off the tree. How's the recording doing? Doing good. Still recording, looks like. Y'all might get tired of me doing that, but trust me, it's really frustrating when you record a bunch of videos and they corrupt, or it's like, oh, I didn't record that after you've recorded for a few hours. So, it's really frustrating. Alrighty, let's just let's go on ahead. We got plenty of energy. Oh, look, nice little woodfall. Pretty. Oh, there's a deer. That deer means wolves. I'm not gonna skin it. I don't need the meat. We are gonna watch and listen for wolves. I don't look like I can get out of this little area if I get chased. It sounds like a, like a woodpecker or something. Yeah, I see all them cattails. I'm not getting them. Remember the, the trouble I had trying to start a fire with cattails? I ain't doing that again. Yeah, yeah, fresh cattail. I ain't falling for it. Looking for deer. Looking for wolves. Look for anything dangerous. What we got here? A log. A waterfall. Pretty little waterfall. And a cave. Hey! We got a cave. Huh. Suspicious. Alrighty. And, oh. Leave Milton region. Alright. You say so, we'll leave Milton. The collapse. Largely cut off from the mainland. Since the collapse, Great Bar Islanders became even more resourceful. Uh, all right, well, it's warmer in here than it was out there. Branches. Alrighty. Let's hope we don't run into anything dangerous. The music's all ominous. Uh, can you see? I can barely see. You know, just so everybody has a good view, at least if I get jumped by something, I'll be able to see it. 
Ready? Okay, here's some coal. Ease around here. What do you got here? Sticks. See, I hear rocks falling. See, have you ever seen that movie, The Descent? Where all them cave divers went down in the cave and found the creatures? No, no. That, that's a no for me. Uh, come on now. I can't be scared. I ain't scared. I'm good to go. Be brave. We've ran from wolves. We know we can do it again. What we got in here. We got a piece of coal. Uh, what's in here? More coal. There's a lot of coal. I ain't got to worry about collecting sticks no more. Hmm. Just make all the noise while we walk through this cave. Easy. I heard that. Or left. Long, ominous hallway. Why are they giving me coal? Like, why? And sticks. Do I need to make a fire? Ooh. It's kind of neat. A couple of pillars. Like, see, now, it makes me curious. A bunch of coal here. Is this a place that, like, People used to leave Milton before the tunnel was made. I don't know. I mean, the climbing area, or the climbing, yeah, the climbing area led me here. So, naturally, that tells me that other people have been here before. It makes me kind of curious if this if this cave is safe or not. Ooh, got a flare and a, more more firewood. Uh, this way. Yeah, I'm awful curious now. I'm not sure if this is the best way to be leaving Milton, but it seems like the only choice we have. A light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put out the torch then, or my, my lantern. Cause see, I don't want to burn up all my fuel. It has a funny way of doing that. Like if you open containers with your lantern out, it uses up all your fuel before you get out. And I don't want that to happen. We'll just stumble in the dark till we get to this hole at the end of the tunnel. Before we go out there, we're going to save. We are going to save. Save. Get it. Do I want to save over that? No. We'll make a new save. Story one. That's fine. We'll just call it story one. Just for now. Because I don't know what's going to happen when I go out this tunnel. And the way that the way that my recordings have been working so far, sometimes when I go from one area to a new area, it stops recording even though it says it's recording. And it causes a whole bunch of issues and I have to re-record stuff. So, we'll be careful and walk through this tunnel and hope that it doesn't crash. Best of luck. Leave tunnel. Leave cave. Okay. It didn't crash. Provides a bit of warmth when carried in hand. That's, that's good to know. I didn't know that. Oh my goodness. Bear. Is this me? Or a cutscene? Shoot him! I can't do nothing. What was that? Um. Guess that's the end? Huh. Oh, okay, never mind. End of chapter one. Going to episode two. Luminance Fug. Continue to episode two. Still recording. Good. Continue to episode two. Alrighty. It still says it's recording, so. And. Alrighty. So 
of bears. <clears throat> now the pale morning sun See, that's Astrid. You know, because the green eyes. Now that we've played some, we'll know a little more about what's going on. We know this guy is Mackenzie. You can tell by his shirt and his face, naturally. His blue eyes. Blue like mine, too. Glasses yet. And I'm a goddamn coward, but then again, so I don't know who that is yet either. And the lions roar, the lions There's roar. a great mother. That's, me evading, oh, That's Mackenzie again. For you and I never really knew. And that's Astrid again. Tell us the office. She's surrounded by wolves. Mackenzie and Astrid and Akia. I'm guessing they lost Akia. It might have been what part of the uh, split, or the breakup or divorce or whatever. Might be why they have so much animosity between each other. Not sure. So. Alrighty, now what? Woman by a fire, huh? Hmm. It's awful quiet. Bear. Hey. Damn it. Not again. No. The lights. What? Hey. Easy. Easy. So you take it easy. You got attacked by a bear, buddy. I saved your life. Who are you? Name's Mackenzie. I'm the one who saved you from the bear. That's right. Show some respect. You kill it. I don't know. I don't think so. But I hate it. Maybe scared it away. <laughs> Not the way you should. You butthole. Glad your memory's coming back. He was eating you. Shit. He got me good this time. This time? <laughs> this time? Hmm. <sighs> yeah. Me and the old bear go back a ways. Well, clearly you're not a good shot either, Lan. Yes. Talk about my shooting. There's unfinished business between us. Clearly. I bandaged you up, but you're in bad shape. Is there anywhere to get medical help? What? Like a doctor? You mean like a hospital? Out here? Nah. Nothing like that. Dang. I see you have a radio. Can we call for help? No. Radio's been dead for the past few days. I can't raise any of the usual channels. I'm not sure why. Oh. Well, you'll need some stronger meds to avoid infection. And for the pain. He's some kind of doctor. I don't no. think so. But I've been around doctors enough to know you'll be in trouble soon. I'm a pilot. Unless you get some better help than I can give you. Yeah. Right. Well... <clears throat> Closest help is probably in Milton. Back the way you came. He's empty. Uh, there's nobody left to help you. I doubt Gray the mother could do anything about this guy. The town's pretty much deserted. There was a fire and. Uh, Damn. Yeah. The next town's days away. Darn. I'm wrecked. But if you leave now, you might be able to. You won't last days like this. Hmm. Must be another way. 
There's... There's someone who might help. But we can only reach them by radio. Uh -huh. So, we're back to where we started. There's got to be somewhere nearby that might have medical supplies, or another radio we can use. You might find some comms gear, or parts, in the old Carter Dam. It's probably ancient stuff, though. That place has been abandoned for years. We used to have a first aid room. Might still be some old meds there, too. Damn. <laughs> Something strong enough to maybe numb this pain. Hang in there. I'll try. I'll be back as soon as I can. I mean, I'm kind of looking for somebody else, but I mean, I can help, I guess. Wait. Wait. What? The old bear. He's still out there. Yes, he is. He'll be wanting to finish the job. He's after you, not me. Okay. Here. Take my rifle. You won't kill him. But you might scare him off again. Right. Only tell goatee. Watch out. The dam. Unstable. Unstable? Wait, what? It's froze. What do you sure. mean unstable? <laughs> I guess that's all he's gonna tell me. Did he die? Damn it. Oh, okay. He's passed out. Ooh, close one. Uh, so we're gonna get his rifle, I guess. Alrighty, so, uh, Trapper. The Wounded Trapper. Enter the Abandoned Dam. Uh, I'm guessing... Okay, that arrow says there, but I doubt we're there. Oh. Hmm. This pack is getting kind of heavy. It says I'm pointing that way. Anyways, so we gotta go to the dam. The dam is just right here, so it can't be that much, that far of a walk. Kenzie rescues an old trapper who's no injured. Okay, that's I think that's the dam. It's yellow, so that usually means that's where we gotta go. Alrighty. So we're gonna end this one. Well, so we've made it to chapter two, episode two. And now there's a bear. Great. Uh so that didn't help us really. Now we've got another guy who we've gotta help while well, we're also in need of help. Uh man. I'm telling you, this game is all about moral decisions. We can't exactly leave the guy to die, but then, I mean, if we shot him with the rifle, what good is the rifle going with us going to do? I mean, the bear looked like he had two arrows in his back. Hmm. Sorry. Hair. So, I mean, clearly, I mean, this guy doesn't have a bow and arrow, which means somebody else is also hunting him. And if this guy has been fighting this bear for years and shooting at him the whole time, what am I going to do? I'm just a pilot. I'm barely even surviving. But anyways, if you liked the video, please consider leaving a like and a subscribe. It really helps out the channel. If you got any comments, suggestions, or you have any ideas about what's actually going on, leave them in the comment section below. I feel like there's things that aren't being told to me. Now, once again, I don't know how this is going to help us find Astrid, but we're going to figure it out. And I hope to see everybody in the next one.